what is up guys uh i am excited today i'm super amped up because today is gonna be well i'm kind of excited but sad at the same time but you know i'm a guy who likes to look at the cup halfway full instead of halfway empty you know what i mean so today is gonna be my last workout with steve luna probably yo probably last workout in like years to be honest because as you guys know he's going to the marines and he has a four-year contract after boot camp he usually had 10 days from boot camp to come back home then deploy but due to COVID-19 and all of that he is not gonna come for those 10 days so it's kind of hard man it's kind of hard because like everything in my life kind of switched around like switched to like everything changed all drastically all of a sudden because my ex-girlfriend left me she left to boot camp my my best friend's leaving he's going to boot camp and deploy for four years my, my buddy Marco has a girlfriend. He's not even hanging out with me that much, bro. And the stock market is fucking me like no other girl has ever fucked me before. But that is okay, yo, because, you know, you got to live life, yo, at its fullest and continue doing your best. And I'm going to pick up Steve right now. After Steve, we're going to go to a quick check, get some um, energy drinks, rain or bang. Probably bang because that's the only shit they have. And after that, we're going to go pick up Marco. We're going to max out on squat, deadlift, and bench press. I deadlifted yesterday, and I did 385 for half a rep. Half a rep because it slipped, and I just didn't lock out. And then I did 375 for one rep, RPM 9. I'm going for four plates today, bro. I don't care if I arch my back. I don't care if I don't arch my back. That, that weight is coming off the floor today. So we gotta, I'm going to talk with them, figure out what we're doing first, either squats or deadlifts. That's a nice Audi. But, uh, we gotta figure out which lift we're doing first. I believe that we should do bench press at the beginning, just because the squat rack might be full. They get, it, might, it might be taken. So, we're gonna do bench press, then squat, then deadlift, and then overhead press, because why the fuck not? Okay, so I'm like kind of new to this like record like vlogging thing, and I forgot to record in between. So just like a little background info, if you guys care, I picked up Steve, went to quick check, got a rain, pick up Marco. Then as he walked into the gym, the lady says, "Oh, you're the kid of the guest pass," because he called earlier. And then Steve was like, "Yeah, it's me." She's like, "Do you have an ID on you?" And Steve's like, "Nope." So we got kicked out because of that. So we got kicked out. We got to go back, and Marco pulls out a whole meal prep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yo, dude, today is not the day, man. I left my AirPods at home. I fucking jacked off yesterday. Oh, you fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked can't up. jack off today. Why? Because uh, tomorrow, it, they said you can't jack off and you can't eat like something like that has too much fat, like bacon or eggs. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, whole eggs. Because I'm getting not tested. Egg I mean, tomorrow. egg whites doesn't have any fat, so. Yeah, I'm getting tested tomorrow. Oh, I fucked up too. I jerked off yesterday too. God. When I upload this shit, Michelle's gonna be like, yo, did Marco just jack off to who? It is not it today. No, bro. It's not today. Alright, yo. Today was a, a fuck show, but they waited like, what, an hour? To an hour? For him to come in. Right, besides that, we're squatting. Um, we're gonna hit a PR squat, hit a PR on the belly, then go on the bench press. Be sure to burn up my ass and my feet. Like, hit, today's not the day, man. We're sitting in the PR. So I just did my 2 5 set. Marco has a whole meal as an intro workout snack. I see struggling with 135. Yeah, I feel like my, I feel like my heart's gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is like a FYI. We got here at what, well, like a 12? Yeah, we got here at 12. Then we have to go back to Steve's house for his ID. Got here at 12.30, like 12.45. We're like 30 more minutes for like the general manager to greet us. We greeted us, we came in. Mind you, I took two scoops and a half of my pre workout. I took half a scoop of Marcus' pre workout. That is three scoops. What's three times three? 900 plus 300 milligrams of caffeine from a rain. I'm running on 1.2 grams of caffeine right now. Is it healthy? No. All right. 
Put a few face on this bitch. Bench press, dude. I feel amazing today, man. What, what was it? 365 on squat, 405 on deadlift. What's up, Albi? Guys, you help me. Dude, oh my God, bro. Woo! stick on the ceiling so I do not know what to do. 
but it's a big PR day. It was a it was amazing. Four or five on the deadlift, 365 on the squat. Pretty good day, but I came to realize that you should appreciate the people you have around you a lot more. Like I'm sorry for being serious in my first vlog, but I think you should be a lot more appreciative of what you have. Not only materialistic, but like people, like mostly people. Because I know like with Steve, like yo, we've been like best buddies since like sophomore year. And like we really got close off my year and then through a whole COVID-19 we, we were together not just because he had a home gym and I was going to his house but because yo we really got along and like I think COVID-19 even instead of breaking that bond apart between me and him even brought it together and I even brought someone else which was Marco and yo like and so like since that bond it's not because if it was only for the home gym since the gym's open we could have just like never talked again like never hanged out again like that but we got even more closer even after COVID-19 and I just like man it's just crazy how time flies and like we knew he was gonna deploy and like but like we were like oh yo but that that's like far away and no dude it, when when time comes it's like when you're like shit dude I think we could have had more fun and same thing yo like example like, I'm not trying to be, be like crying about my ex or anything but same thing with my ex you like we would um we would always hang out and like even though like I didn't appreciate her as much as I could sometimes like we did have them we did have good times but then when somebody said what are you gonna do when you break up with her and I was like that's not gonna happen and if it happens it's gonna be like in five years or so and like I, I really I really thought wrong like I was messed up mentally but that happened because I never thought it could happen and it did happen so more of a story from me from like your local gym bro you know Cause you know people might say this, but like you might, like, hey, it's nothing. But like me as a gym bro who can relate to you guys, when you max out on this and that. Today was an awesome day, and I think I wouldn't have hit four plates. Maybe I would have, maybe in the future. But I think today, Steve being there at the gym with me and hyping me up, seeing seeing as Marco helped me a lot more, and it, I'm just gonna miss Steve a lot. So after this clip, I will be posting a bunch of videos of me and him trying to max out at his home gym a year ago. And Steve, if you're watching this, dude, I love you so much. I love you, like you and you and Mark are like my brothers, besides my cousin and my my little brother. I really love you guys. And Steve, dude, kick ass in boot camp, dude. You're like the hardest working kid besides me I've known. And like yo, that 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 that's really gonna pay off at boot camp. And like you're gonna really shine out in between all the soldiers. And for all of you guys. Who don't know him? Go follow him. He's like really shy. Doesn't post much in this room. Go, go give him a follow, dude, and and give him a congratulations. Like yo, congrats, you're going to the Marine. Good luck. Thank you for your service. You know, just go and hit him up. And um, yeah, just appreciate more what you have because you never know when you're gonna lose it. And I haven't lost my buddy yet, but I know we're gonna be far apart from each other for several years. And I'm still gonna hang out with him either Friday and Saturday and say goodbye on Sunday. But dude. Love you, bro. And me and Marco will be hitting PRs at the gym and missing him. Besides that, good day today.